Today we're going to do a snapshot of ProQuest databases that relate to biology. From the library homepage, you can access by scrolling down and clicking databases by title or research guides by subject. We're going to select biology and then the general biology guide. From here, click on databases. ProQuest hosts biological science, natural science, and the general science database collection. So um, our snapshot is applicable to all three of these. So let's go into biological science collection. You will see a basic search, advanced search option, and a publication search. Keep in mind that all databases are a little different and they have their own ways of searching. Typically you can find access to search tips. Um, in ProQuest, right underneath the search bar, you will see search tips. And you can click that and access some of the different um, things that we're going to discuss today. All right, so some default searching um, that happens in ProQuest. So ProQuest has automatic word variants. So some of the things that are automatically going to happen are related to plurals. So if I type cell, I'm also going to get results for cells and vice versa. Um, the same way is applicable to superlatives. So things like small, smaller, smallest. Um, US and British spellings are interchangeable also. Um, so those things are going to happen for you automatically. You don't have to do anything for them. So when you first go to search in one of these ProQuest databases, so let's say I'm going to search mitochondrial genes. So when I just type those two words, it is as if I am typing an invisible Boolean and between them. That is how ProQuest treats those two terms. So you can see that that gave me 551,000 results, and that's a little much. So I'm going to modify my search, and you can use the double quotation marks for phrase searching in ProQuest. So put that because I want this phrase, put, them, put this in quotation marks, search it again. Now I have 28,000 results. Okay, that's still a lot, but from here, now I want to uh, narrow down by peer-reviewed. I can go through and I can also narrow by the year. Document type subject is an excellent way to narrow your results, results even further. Um, so maybe I'm only interested in genomes. So now I'm down to 4,700 results. Okay, so remember to use um, double quotation marks for your phrasal searching. Okay, some other things. Uh, you can definitely use Boolean operators and, or, and not. Um, keep in mind, or is a great way to search synonyms. So in my example, I'm searching kidney failure or renal failure. So I can ensure that I get the maximum results for both of those terms. You can also search with proximity operators in ProQuest databases. So we've got two different options. We can use near and we can use pre. So near slash number. In this example, I've got genome near three clone. So what that's going to do, it's going to retrieve these words, genome and clone, within three words of each other in any specific order, okay? If you wanna use pre, you can also do that. And what pre does is it requires the first term to precede the additional term by a certain number of words. So in this case, it is by three, okay? So this would give us results for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, but not necessarily disorder with attention deficit, okay? All right, let's look at advanced search. So within advanced search, you've got command line and you've got thesaurus so, and you have field codes, but thesaurus is an excellent way to search or to populate your search. So in this case, 
ProQuest is going to open up all of the thesauri that they have available. I'm going to go into Life Sciences. And I can either search or I can browse alphabetically. Okay, and let's go to P Factor. Okay, so when you, you'll see P Factor, I could check the box, and it also gives me broader terms like growth factor. And many of these will also give you narrower terms. So then you can choose to add one or both of these to your search and you can combine them however you want. Okay, so you can build a very refined search using the thesaurus and using command. So those are some of the basic things that you could do inside of a ProQuest database. If you have questions or you would like help with your specific search, please reach out and contact your STEM librarian. And don't forget to check the helpful information in your uh, biology subject guide. Thank you.